30 love. Well, she's done something very difficult. She had that great momentum in the middle of that first set, looked to be cruising to it, really lost it, and then got it back. And uh, it's totally shutting Ivanovic down uh, on the uh, Ivanovic serve. Left. Ivanovic hasn't held serve since the 11th game of the first set. And she's also picked up her own serve as well, just that one double fold as opposed to six in the first set. And said, don't jinx it again for her, but uh, she has really raised her level. And right now, she's the boss out here. Dokic and uh, let's have a listen to what Sven Grunefeld said to Anna Ivanovic just a couple of games towards the end of that last set. The two things are very important. One, on the return of serves games, on her second serve, yeah, you sometimes come in, you try to put pressure on her and you notice that her first and her second, speed-wise, is not... not so, exactly. You also know her pattern. Yeah, she goes a lot to your backhand. You know, you have to be ready for that. If she goes to your forehand, you'll have a natural instinct to react to that. You'll be ready. You don't have to step in that far. On your own service game, yeah, when it's a big point, don't give her the wings so she can just slap the ball. So go more to her body or go to the teeth. So she doesn't have the angles and the line. Those two things. The third thing. Well, interesting advice there from Coach Sven Grunewald. That was at five love when she was five love down in that uh, second set. Uh, I think he made a good point about maybe giving Dokic too much width on the court. The, the, the problem is though, if you play Yelena down the center of the court and you don't get enough length, then she will hurt you because she has time to get around it and get on either forehand or backhand, both deadly. But as I think we both agree, Todd, that it's a little bit more a case of just a little more compromise from Ivanovic. She's you know, hardly played a match in the last three or four months. Get some balls in court, get some length, get some rhythm, get some confidence out there. And throw that ball up, right? <laughs> Well, that was a good serve, right in the corner, full stretch, and Dutch nails it down the line. Yay, yeah. Ivanovic ties it up at 1-0. Yahoo 7 is the official online broadcaster of the 2010 Australian Open. Yahoo7.com.au slash sport. It's, it's a match that can be won by a winner or two or three or four unforced errors right now, couldn't it? And you don't know which one it's going to be. Yes, for me, that still playing the better tennis, Yelena Dokic at the moment. But if I was of a, a gambling persuasion, and I'm not, I, w I wouldn't fancy even a cup of tea and a bun on this match. So, to be to be perfectly honest with you.
Uh, good run footing forehand. Well, that's the danger. Okay, you may not go with width and you may not go to the lines, but if you go straight at Yelena, you can get end up in the hitting zone, and that's what's happening here to Ivanovic. Point to go against the server in the third set. Game, but Dokic, Dokic, she hangs on and she leads 2 1. Final set. Dokic leads. So final set in this uh, women's first round encounter, no breaks so far and still this match very much in the balance, changing the commentary box. Oh. And uh, John Alexander back with me now for this third set. Yeah, that forehand struck beautifully on the full run from Anna. But if it wasn't going to be a winner, she was going to be in trouble. We've yet to see really both women play well at the same time. And you were only away for a nanosecond and it's just changed out of all proportion this match. Fifteen on. One interesting stat from that second set, I think you might like her. For uh, Ivanovic, or not like if you're a fan, she did not win a single point behind her second serve in that second set. 30, That's a worry, isn't it, if it you're is. in the Ivanovic camp? And only getting 60, well, getting 67% of her first serves in for the match is uh, not a bad percentage, but... Uh, there is a real crisis with her second serve. The most fundamental thing on a serve is your ball toss, and that's where the problem exists. Fourteen. You just see that forehand inhibit. Inhibited there with a little bit of tension, tightening up. Two games on. Nice for the game. It's pretty tight in the third set. And the question is, can Elena find the form? that won her the second set. The little thing she went for came off. It's safe to say that both players have dug in now. by the smallest of margins, if at all, and then loading up and going for the line again, right on the line. Fifteen, thirteen. Well, that's what this could hinge on, really. Just a couple of little mistakes here and there, because the margins are very tight between these two.
third yard. It's been stunning when the, either player has got it right out here. Left for six. And just uh, too often going to the wide serve to the forehand right in the swing zone. Cheers. game with an ace with the break in hand and the momentum of this match seems to be switching in Anna's favor fifth and all previous 30, 50. point it appeared that Anna really got caught flat-footed and I often think that she does so many preset routines in practice drills that if she isn't anticipating well she seems a little slow I'm not sure that she does read that well the game and what's coming off her opponent's racket but she also sets very early for for the shot as well with her feet And there is a little momentum shift here, particularly if Ivanovic can get this game. But I think it's really come about by her just being a little more consistent. I don't really think that she is uh, suddenly taking the game to Dokic. Just uh, Dokic has just missed a little more, having uh, to deal with a few more balls. forehand just catching the tape a little tension and Elena has the break back point yeah, and if there's a little tension that contributed to the previous error there's a whole lot on that one, New that one wrapped halfway down the net three games all and Jelena is back into this match. Big crowds here for this day, second day of action. That's a very nice place to watch the tennis, actually. I was out there a little earlier because they've got a few, few food stands there just to 
getting a little lunch. They didn't, they didn't have that screen there uh, last year, so you notice this year lots of little improvements on, on the side around the grounds just to, just to keep it edgy and fresh, this tournament. Casey Delac were playing outside one of the outside courts at the moment. Love it, Nine double faults for the match now. Love 13. Going for too much on the second ball. Trying to push it too close to the lines. Five consecutive faults. Fifteen thirty. Of the two out here, I have a feeling that Dokic believes in her game slightly more than Ivanovic right now, even though she's uh, having to sort of pull herself out of this game somehow. Well, this turned out to be a rather nasty little shot. Not a lot Dokic could do, but cool as you like from uh, the former world number one. Oh. Game, Ivanovic. Overplaying, making the error, and the break again in favour of Anna Ivanovic. Ivanovic four leads four games to three. Deep in the third set, Anna Ivanovic leading four three with a break. hasn't helped her ball toss. 30 love. One factor though that bizarrely has helped and, and rather ironically is her serve in this final set because she's getting almost 80% of her first serves in and while she's doing that doesn't have to worry about the horrors behind the second. Graf not yielding to Anna's pleas. Thirty fifty. Yelena really keeping the pressure up, playing the ball for what it was worth when she got into position, not overplaying that short forehand.
Perth Yarl. Well, this is why the Aussie fans uh, have really grown to love Yelena. She really backs herself when she's in a hole. Fourteen, thirteen. And Anna was three quarters of the way through her routine of celebration. Late call, and Empire Graf confirming in his mind the ball was wide. The first ball way to the left, Please. the second to the right. Ivanovic leads 5-8-3. Uh, limps to a 5-3 lead. She accepted the third ball toss. That was less than ideal. It's quite a bit to the left. Got to hand it to her, though, to get that second serve in. Took some doing. Love thirteen. And again, just going for too much on the second ball. Paying the penalty. Double fault number 11. Love 30, 3 5. Love 14. Three match points. Brave second serve just centimetres inside the service line. Game set the match, Anna Ivanovic. Ivanovic wins by two sets to one, seven five, one six, six three.